RF4CE analysis example. The setup includes a TV set and a remote control unit communicating over RF4CE. First of all, we find the channels the network uses by performing a scan for channels. As expected, being this an RF4CE network, it uses channels 15, 20, and 25. We choose RF4CE as the protocol the analyzer will decode. Having four dongles and looking to capture data from three channels only, we use the Active Sync option for better time accuracy. We initiate a data capture. Using channel grouping in the time view, we can see that the TV is not responding and that the remote control unit keeps sending messages over the three possible channels. By using the Compare Messages options, we can see the latency between transmissions in different channels. In the network view, we see the remote control unit, unknown type yet, with its address and the TV set address it's looking for. Now we can see some transaction between two devices. Clicking with the mouse on the connections in time view, we can see that the receive party is sending MAC level acknowledgments and easily see its latency. Clicking on a message and choosing the quick watch option, we can see that this is a discovery request, that the device type is a remote control unit, and that it was manufactured by Texas Instruments. The network view shows this device as remote control unit. We change the time view grouping to source address. Looking to identify the content of each message, we drag the messages to the message view window. We see the discovery request followed by a discovery response. We see that it takes time for the remote control unit to identify the discovery response as it continues sending additional discovery requests. Then we can see the pairing process and that the replying device is a TV set. Strangely enough, we see that the devices in the Network View section are shown with a simple device icon and that the TV set icon is not shown. To investigate what happened, we perform a search for messages where the device status field has conflicts or updates. We search for messages with the device status field not equal OK. We can see that the same device with an All F address sometimes is identified as a remote control unit and sometimes as a television set. We see that several commands are sent by the remote control unit to the TV set. We can see that this is an implementation problem in the system under test because it should have used the actual device address during the discovery and pairing process. We want to discover when the blue key in the remote control unit is pressed, so we run a continuous search for the command field showing the blue key command. Every message received that includes this command is automatically added to message view search results window. Now, we would like the technician in the field to be able to easily identify the command sent by the remote control unit and to identify a pairing transaction. We also want the field technician to get an alert message on messages that include the blue key command and would like him to see the latency of the acknowledgement messages sent from the TV set to the remote control unit. We ask the technician to find two pair transactions and to send us the difference between them. We define a new open source rule. The rule moves all messages captured to time view. If the message includes a remote control command, the rule sets the message name to be taken from the command name. If the command in the message is blue key, an event message is generated and the message color is changed to blue. All messages holding remote control commands are added to message view and the command section is expanded. If the message is a pairing reply, we automatically add a bookmark that can ease up the back office analysis. We also build a code that identifies message ACK transactions and build a latency histogram. We compile the rule, sign it, and send it to the technician for his use.
the technician runs the rule. You can easily see pair transactions by looking for bookmarks. See the commands sent in the message view. See blue key commands marked as blue. Events in the event log showing blue key commands. And a statistics chart showing the ACK latency. After performing the capture, the technician identifies two pair transactions. He uses the Compare Messages option to see the difference between the two pair request messages and sees that the only difference is the sequence number and frame counter. He adds a bookmark with an appropriate description in the relevant place and sends us the packed workspace for further analysis. In the lab, the packed workspace is received and the specific same scenario seen by the technician in the field appears immediately, including the bookmarks he used to point us to the pair transaction.